Right, speed review video. So a big thanks to Old Pro who have sent me this two man tent. So I'll give you the details down below where to get this tent. I'll give you the links to the site. But I'm going to open it up, see what it's like. And tonight, tonight, Matthew, we're going to spend the night in the Old Pro. I can't remember the name of it. Once I get it out of the bag, I'll, I'll tell you the exact name of it. So, I'll soon be needing a warehouse for the tents I've got. Right, so, this is the old Pro Voyager technical tent. What's it saying the outside of it? Alltech 5000 fabric, guaranteed protection, ripstop fabric, extra strength, lightweight, aluminium poles and pegs, uh, comes in at 1.9 kilograms. I'll be honest, it doesn't feel that heavy, packs down nice and light. So, what we'll do is we'll get it up and see what it looks like. Comes in a nice wee stuff sack. Right, obviously, the set of pegs. Two poles. So go together, go together, easy as that. Right, I'll also obviously get the outer section. And then you get that another as well. So let's get it up and see what it looks like. Sorry, in the wee bag you also get a wee kind of thing of seam sealant as well, which is unusual, you don't often get that with many tents, so that's quite a good wee addition. Right, so like I say, you get the pegs, the two poles, a larger one and a smaller one, that's the inner laid out, and that's the outer. So, two poles, smaller one at the bottom end and the larger one at the top end. So we'll get them in first. So, outer out, up first. So, as you can see, let's get the, the clips here. There's two of these, either side. You've got a guy line, either side. Same at the bottom end. The bottom end is just the one clip either side, another guy line to hold it out. And then obviously all the kind of peg out points. Again, quite good because we've all got these tensioners as well. So, good wee tent. Again, 
if you get the ventilation section, that's good. It's even got one of these, I don't know what you call them, but basically to hold that up. So, good redesign. But well, that's basically the outer. Right, same as well, there's another two ventilation sections here as well. Right, and then it's, it's basically side entry. So, there's basically a zip, a couple of Velcro straps. That brings you to the inside. So what we'll do, I'll we'll stick the runner up as well. So just before I stick the runner up, it's obviously, let's get the two tie-up points at the top for the door. So I'll just fling that up and tie that up just now. That's one of the tie-up points tied up now. Right, inside. Basically what you've got is a couple of these clips, again nice and easy, well nice and easy if you're not trying to do it with one hand, right that should just basically slot in there. So as you can see, just basically slots into those two sections on either side and then you get the same down the bottom end as well so I'll get them on right as well as the bottom end there's a couple just at the kind of side corners as well right so you can see that and then the final one it's actually, it's not actually on the edge of the tent, it's basically on one of the kind of straps along the bottom. Right, next, it's a case of attaching the inner to these points up above. Right, so also that's the top end and then you've got a couple down the bottom as well. Right, so that's the, the bottom two attached. I don't know if you can see that too well. So that's the bottom two. I think there's four or five along the top. And then you've obviously got the zip entry. Oh, that's quite good as well. As well as having the, the outer section, which is like that. You've also got the, the bug net section inside as well. And again, this all ties up as well. So, that's the full thing set up. Vegetable wise, it's not got loads of room, but it looks a good solid, sturdy tent. And obviously we'll try it out tonight, see what it's made of. But I quite like the look of it. It's actually quite similar to another tent I've got. Uh, but like I say, big thanks to Opro for sending me this out. Uh, I'm actually an ambassador for their company. So if you go into their company, you'll see, if you go down the bottom of their webpage, you'll see that I'm one of the ambassadors. So hopefully this will be an ongoing thing. Might get other things to, to test out as well. But, like I say, go over, give them a look, see what you think. But, I do like the look of this. So, like I say, this is the Voyager 2 man. So, it's a kind of wild camping tent. Right, it's only 1.9 kilograms, so it's actually a pretty good wee tent with the looks of it. Looks pretty sturdy. So, hopefully, that gives you a good overview of what the tent looks like. That's it fully set up. Obviously, it's just in the back garden just now, but it just came through yesterday. 
So I thought I'll get it up, just give everybody a, a good look at what it actually looks like. How it's set up. So, there we go. So, hopefully, like I say, it gives you a good idea of what the tent's made of. But it definitely does look a good wee tent. Plenty of space inside it. And it's a lovely sunny night, so I'll spend the night in this and bring you back in the morning. Oh, and sorry, before I go, uh, if you are thinking of buying one for Old Pro, again, I will put the links down below. Uh, you get 5% off it uh, with the discount code at the checkout if you type in LOYALTY5. So that's quite useful to know as well if you're thinking of getting one. So hopefully you like the look of that. Looks not too bad. Quite like the look of it. That'll do for if I'm going hiking anywhere. Uh, obviously I've got a multitude of different tents but this one looks quite good if I want to just strap it to the back of my rucksack go a wee hike Thanks for watching